So one method that we uh, worked with that um, made a huge difference in, in my own evolution uh, as a human, really, but uh, also as a purpose guide, um, is the soul quest. Um, so inside the training, you know, there's like every purpose guide or future purpose guide gets to, you know, be a consumer of the training first. So you get to experience what it's like to be a client. And what I found, I mean, there's so many things that, that contributed to my experience and my, you know, enhanced evolution of my purpose, but, um, the soul quest, uh, just blew them all out of the water. I mean, um. I mean, what this is, it's, a, it's basically one day silence, fasting, and then eight hours in nature. And spend you know, weeks creating and developing what this self-designed ceremony actually is going to be. So, you know, I got to bring in all of my work from the past. Um, my work with the Mankind Project and the different archetypes we use there. And, you know, that is like a lens for understanding my purpose. Looking at the octagon, all eight pieces of that, those as like unique prayers and inquiries into like, what is my purpose? What is the, the, the emerging, the bleeding edge of, of my purpose? And um, what I got was basically a new name. <laughs> um, you know, uh, in shamanic and kind of nature, um, or kind of pre-industrial nature-based communities, they, they talk about animal spirits or plant spirits as like um, kind of the emerging edge of your life's purpose. And I've been using that through the Mankind Project um, for about a decade now. And it's been really helpful in like my next kind of purposeful expression. And so I had released what my you know previous animal name was and was ready to step into something new. And inside the soul quest was that inquiry, that, that, that want, that soul level intention to like claim a new name, to, to receive kind of what is the next expression. And that's what happened in the ceremony. Um, you know, maybe about two thirds of the way through the eight hours, um, I received this name, uh, Buffalo Heart. And I was like, oh gosh, what is this? Like, you know, critical, skeptical mind coming in, like, you just make that up. Um, and so I was, I was, you know, I did what I know to do and that's to question it, you know, to really, you know, puncture it. Like try to say, you know, is this me? Like, does this really fit? I mean, like, is this just like another <laughs> new age thing to like slap on to my ego? Um, so I, you know, I sat there for a while and I, and I thought about it and, you know, I, I wasn't getting any clarity inside my, inside my circle. And so I stepped out and I had been kind of talking to the trees and the leaves and the birds and the wind. Um, so I was like, oh, well, I'm going to take this to the trees. And so I stepped out of the circle and just kind of, you know, put my hand, hands on the trees and just said, you know, is this my name? Am I Buffalo Heart? You know, and, you know, nothing after the first tree, nothing after the second tree. Um, and I think it was somewhere between like the third and fourth tree where the the rest of the name came through. And it was um, who loves and holds the world. So uh, W-H-O-L-E, like makes whole. So uh, I'm Buffalo Heart, who loves and holds the world. And just like, I just crumpled, like just my whole body just fell to the earth, just crying like, wow, this is really who I am. Like, yeah, my name is Brandon. That was what my parents called me. But like, like who I am is, is this, this force for integrity, for good, for, you know, creating a more in integrous, wonderful, purpose-driven human expression on planet earth and to heal it and to love it and not to fight it. I've been fighting it for so long. So... Yeah, um, that was huge, and that, that still is um, that still is a source of a source of spiritual food to connect with that name every morning. 